or we will demonstrate how to do a posterior nasal packing in case of posterior epistaxis. So we take a gauze piece, the way we make a bolster dressing for the nose, we rotate it and three threads are to be tied. The three threads, one is in the center, it's a normal knot that we tie, we, take, we secure it nicely and keep one end of the thread longer. Okay, we cut it, cut one of the thread and then again we take two more threads and tie on the sides. So three threads are tied on this rotated or bolster shape gauze piece. The ideal size of this bolster should be about the thumb of the patient. So we can take one or two gauze piece. It also depends on the amount of nasal bleed that we have and how much pressure we need to give. So we have tied or we will tie three threads on the gauze. So before packing this, we have made the pack ready. So if we can just demonstrate, put it on the trolley. The center thread is kept on one side and the two threads are kept on the other side. Cut, cut, yes. So now we have a bolster with three threads. Two threads are on one side and the central thread is on the other side. This is the ideal way in which we make the pack which will go behind the nose. So this pack with three threads is now made wet with saline. Sometimes we can even take betadine if you want to keep the pack for longer duration. Now we can use a tongue depressor to press the blade. In this case, for demonstration purpose, we have used a Boyle Davis mouth gag so, the, uh, so we can record a, in a nice way because we hardly have any videos on posterior nasal packing. This bolster should go in the nasopharynx with two threads, the two side threads coming out of the nose and the single thread will be out of the mouth. So to process this, we will pass two infant feeding tubes from each side of the, from each nostril. So we put two infant feeding tube from the nose and it comes out from the oropharynx and the other end is pulled out from the mouth. So now we have two infant feeding tube from both the nostrils and two ends and the other two ends are from the mouth. Now the two side threads of the pack are tied to the end of the infant feeding tube each. So on one side we tie one thread and on the other infant feeding tube we tie the other thread tightly and the single thread is kept outside. We tie it in a tight fashion so that when we pull it out it should not come out. We can even use Foley's catheter for this but in fact because it is yellow and when it is actively bleeding yellow is seen better instead of a white color infant feeding tube. Now we have now understand that there are two infant feeding tubes from the nose and the ends of the bolster dressing the side threads are tied on the end. Now we will pull the both infant feeding tube from the nose and gradually guide this bolster in the oropharynx, keeping mm -hmm. the thread outside. It is our wet. Yes, and we keep pulling the infant feeding tube till the time we get the thread out. And with the finger, we push the bolster through the in the oropharynx, through the uvula, down. With our finger, we push it into the nasopharynx tight. Now, both the infant feeding tubes are out with the thread. We cut the, the thread. So this is how we do a posterior nasal packing where the pack has gone behind. The one thread is coming out of the mouth and two threads are outside. We will tie a knot for the two threads so that the, so that the pack does not fall into oropharynx. And we keep a small gauze in between so that the thread does not damage the nostril. Small gauze at the filtrum of the nose. So that it does not damage the soft filtrum of the nose. Very small piece of gauze is required. Yes. And we tighten this knot. One more knot we take. This is kept for 48 hours. The patient can be kept intubated, can be extubated. And while removing this throat pack, we just cut this thread and pull out and pull out the single thread so the posterior nasal pack comes out from the mouth. This is how we do a posterior nasal packing. We'll just demonstrate how to take it out. We cut it from the center. and pull out from the oropharynx. This is how the posterior nasal pack can be taken out.